We hope you're having a fantastic day. We continue to get questions uh, regarding balance billing patients under Medicare Part C plans or Medicare Advantage plans as most of them are called today. And uh, there, there are a lot of complexities with these because uh, the situation comes in as to whether or not you are contracted with the carrier that's actually providing those Medicare Advantage plans and also whether you're a participating provider or a non-participating provider uh, with Medicare and that creates some additional complexity. So what we have found is, is two years ago, CMS issued some very clear guidance on exactly how this plays out. So the key comes down to this. If you are a participating provider with the insurance carrier that is offering the Medicare Part C plans, then all of the rules apply to you. They're gonna send you your remittance advice that's gonna be abundantly clear. And, uh, and, and that's easy for a lot of us to figure out because you've agreed to these terms in your contract. However, what happens when you're not a participating provider and you have a patient uh, come into your office that is a part of one of these Medicare Advantage plans. And, and here's the answer. And when CMS clarified this a couple of years ago, here's what they said. In essence, it really boils down to in those situations where you are not participating with the carrier, uh, then it boils down to your participation with Medicare. And so what Medicare said, what CMS said, was you're never allowed to balance bill the patient uh, for those amounts of coinsurance or co-payments, if you will, uh, greater than what would normally be allowed under your status with Medicare as a whole. And so the way that works is if you're a participating provider with Medicare, then you would never collect anything more than what they would be responsible for under Medicare. And the same thing is if you're a non-participating provider, then you can never collect from the patient anything more than what you would be collecting from the patient up to that limiting charge. And so all of the Medicare rules also very clearly apply within the context of the Medicare Advantage plans. And I think that that should give us some pretty clear guidance. We may not like the end result, but it gives us clear guidance on what to do when those patients do appear. You can understand that for covered services, you can only bill those services up, uh, bill the patient for those portions that they would be responsible for, whether it be their deductible, a co-payment, if that happens to be on that Medicare Part C plan, and also then up to the limiting charge if you're a non-PAR provider with a Medicare and out of network with the carrier, or if you're a participating provider, then of course um, that limited amount of money that you would be able to collect from the patient and their co-insurance portion under Medicare. Um, now, the, the additional thing that comes in, and I've covered this in a previous video, comes into play is if they're a duals patient or if they're a Medicare and Medicaid patient. Those patients for covered services, you're not allowed to bill at all. And so there would be no co-payment or co-insurance. Now, the last is this, is what do you do with those non-covered services? Well, then very much like you would with Medicare, you want to make sure that you inform the patient uh, that those services are not going to be covered by their plan and that they will be responsible for them. You also cannot waive them. You want to make sure that you're following all of, all of the OIG gifts and inducements laws and not giving away services uh, in excess of that $15 or $75 mark. Uh, so for covered services, make sure that you're balance billing the patient appropriately for those Pardon me, for the non-covered services, make sure you're balance billing the patient appropriately uh, for all of those charges. And then for covered services, only those core insurance portions that, that apply for your specific situation. Hopefully this brings you clarity and we'll catch you next week.